Welcome back to this episode of Home Built Workshop. Today, I'm gonna refinish this homemade bench made from two by material and horseshoes. Check it out. So this is a really cool bench that somebody somewhere along the way has welded up a whole bunch of horseshoes to make the legs and slap some 2 by material on the top. I really like the design of these legs. The whole bench though is really in need of a good refinishing. So I think the first thing I need to address with this bench is the length. The way this is constructed right now, the legs are about a foot and a half, maybe two feet in from the edge, so you can't sit on the edge. If you, sit, if you sit on the edge, it tips up. So we need to shorten each side by about 12 inches. That's gonna bring it down to somewhere around six feet. Now with the length trimmed down, all I need to do is disassemble this and we'll start cleaning up everything. I'll start cleaning up those legs just by using a wire brush. This will knock the majority of the loose stuff off. Now I can switch to a wire wheel and clean them up the rest of the way. Make sure you wear safety glasses and it's also a good idea to wear some gloves. A lot of times the wires on these wire cups and also wire wheels tend to break off and fly around so you definitely don't want one of those in your eye. Now I'll spray on a coat of rust inhibiting primer. Not quite sure how this works, but there's some sort of chemical in the primer that helps stop the rust and seal it in. It also makes a nice base coat for the gloss black. Speaking of gloss black, I'm gonna apply several good coats once that primer is dry. Now I'm gonna begin sanding down the slats. I'm just using my random orbit sander with some coarse paper. I really like the weathered look that the grain has on these boards. Now there's a few knots that need some stabilizing using some CA glue. A little bit more sanding to smooth out the glue. And I'll begin applying several coats of gloss spar urethane. And it turns out I didn't really like the look of that gloss, so I decided to sand it back down and apply a couple of coats of a satin polyurethane. Now I can just start putting everything back together. A couple of the screws I gotta drive in by hand because I can't quite get in there with the impact driver because the way these holes are drilled, it's too close to the edge, but not really a big deal. So this is a tool that I haven't used in a very long time. I maybe use it once every year, maybe year or two but it's just a little ratcheting screwdriver. It's really great for getting into tight spaces and I found that it works really well on a couple of these screws where it's really hard to get into using just a regular screwdriver. This is one of those tools that I forget I have until the need arises and it ends up being a real lifesaver. And just to finish this bench off, I've painted a couple of other horseshoes black and I'm adding those to the bottom. This will help tie the slats together and just provide a little bit more rigidity. And with that, the horseshoe bench is complete. It turned out really good. The bench is nice and stable. Since I shortened up the ends, you can now sit at the edge of the bench and not worry about it tipping over. Really happy with the way this turned out. 
I'm really glad that I took the extra time to sand that gloss clear off. I just didn't like that look. I think this satin has a much nicer look. Now I realize that this project is not too involved, but one of the main reasons that I wanted to share it with you guys is because of the legs. I think that this was a really cool use of these horseshoes to weld them all together to make legs. I've seen a lot of cool projects made with horseshoes and I've kind of got some in the back of my mind because I have access to some horseshoes, but I wanted to share this with you guys to hopefully maybe give you some inspiration as to how you might be able to work horseshoes into a project that you're working on. So thank you guys for tuning in for this project. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. Also, if you want to get notifications every time I post a new video, go ahead and click that little bell icon and you'll get a notification every time I post a video. Down below, you'll find links to my website, my social media sites, and most recently, my Patreon page. If you're interested in becoming a patron to the channel, help support the channel, I would really appreciate it. Just click the link down below and you can hit up my Patreon page and become a patron. Get some cool stuff and a few behind the scenes things. The link's there if you are interested. So I wanna hear from you guys down below in the comments what you thought. So scroll on down there, leave a comment, give me your feedback on this project. Until next time, thanks a lot for watching. What a drag when you set up the shot, but you left your impact driver over there and you can't reach it. <laughs> I say it's not a big deal. That's going in pretty hard. Ow, and hit my head. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I'm so close. <laughs> 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 <laughs>